So here we have a flow chart um, to review over classifying matter. And in the box up here are the different things that you should place in the chart. So some things might be a little bit challenging, like where are visible components going to go? Well blended. So you can kind of spread things out um, around the chart so you can see them a little better. And now the only thing I have left in the box is the last term, which is matter. So matter is actually where we will start this whole journey. It'll go here at the top. Matter can be broken down into two different categories. It can either be mixtures or it can be pure substance. And then if you have a pure substance, there are two types of pure substances. There's elements and there are compounds. Mixtures, there are two different mixtures. There's homogeneous solutions and there are heterogeneous mixtures. So now we get into the examples at the bottom. So elements, some examples would be like silver or nitrogen, and even though there's a little two next to it, that's just a diatomic element. They only exist in pairs, but it's still just nitrogen. And then um, also there's one other thing, a descriptor, and elements are found on the periodic table. Okay, compounds. So there's a couple. We have water, which is H2O, and we have this octane, C3H8, which is actually propane. Got to fix that. Finally, chemical formula is going to be the descriptor that will go under compounds because they are represented by a chemical formula. Okay, homogeneous solutions. Some examples include air or a metal alloy. And the key words for homogeneous solutions are that they are well blended. And then everything that's left over, salad, concrete, are examples of heterogeneous mixtures. And the key words there are that the components are visible. You can see them with your eyes. So here's the flow chart for classifying matter. Hope this helped.